Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of this shaded triangle as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we got this parallelogram and we have a bunch of triangles in it. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step. Let's label the vertices, the points. Over here, I'm going to call this point A, vertex A, vertex B of this parallelogram, C and D. And moreover, the vertices for these triangles going to be, I'm going to call this one E, F, G and H. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and recall the definition of a parallelogram. And here's the definition of a parallelogram, a shape with opposite sides parallel and equal inside. This is a parallelogram. This side is opposite. These sides are not only equal but also parallel. Likewise, this side is equal to this opposite side and they are parallel as well. And moreover, this part, this side is the base of this parallelogram and this is the height of this parallelogram as well. And moreover, the area of the parallelogram is always A equal to base times the height. And we also know that the area of a triangle is always equal to a half time base time height. So therefore, the area of a triangle is always half the area of the parallelogram. Now let's go over the relationship between the areas of a parallelogram and the triangle. That means what kind of relationship they have when it comes to the areas. And we know that the area of a triangle is always equal to the half times the area of a parallelogram. Now let's look at this very first example. We have uh, this parallelogram and that is a triangle, shaded triangle inside this one. And since this triangle has the same base as of this parallelogram, this is the base and the height is also h. So therefore the area of this triangle is going to be a half times the area of this whole parallelogram. And likewise these next two triangles, shaded triangles inside this parallelogram also have the area equal to half of their parallelogram because they have the same base as of the parallelogram and the height is also same. And here's another scenario. In this case, we have a two triangles, shaded triangles inside this parallelogram and we can see the combined base of these two triangles is equal to the base of this parallelogram that which is B and the height of these both of these triangles is H. So therefore once again the area of these two triangles both shaded triangles going to be the half of this parallelogram. And likewise over here these shaded triangles they since they have the same base as of the uh, parallelogram and the height is same as well so the area the combined area of these two triangles is going to be a half times the area of the parallelogram. And here's one more example. In this scenario, we got three triangles, shaded triangles, and their combined base is B, which is same as the base of the parallelogram, and their height is H as well, same height. So therefore, the combined area of these three triangles is going to be, once again, a half time the area of this parallelogram. And now let me give you a few examples when the area of the triangle is not going to be the half of the area of this parallelogram. Now in our next step, let's focus on this triangle AFB, the shaded triangle over here, which this has the area a half times the area of this parallelogram ABCD. And moreover, 
the area of this triangle H A H E this one and plus the area of the triangle E G B the combined area is equal to the half of this parallelogram A B C D now let me go ahead and call this one as an equation number one and this as equation number two now let's go ahead and compare these equations one and two since the right hand side is same that means the left hand side of this one is going to be equal to this side so therefore this triangle AFB is going to be equal to the triangle AHE plus triangle EGB before we go any further let me call this the area of this shaded region I'm going to call it X and this area of this triangle I'm going to call Y and this one as a Z. So now let's focus on this triangle AFB we can see that the triangles area is going to be Y plus 20 plus X plus Z plus 40 plus 42 so let me just write it down right now where I'm going to write down y plus z plus 20 plus x plus 40 plus 42 equals to so the area of H A H E is going to be simply y plus 50 plus 14 and then plus the area of this EGB is going to be simply Z plus 40 plus 10. So now let's go ahead and solve for X. As you can see Y and Z on the left hand side cancel out Y and Z on the right hand side and we can see on the left hand side if we combine the like terms it is going to give us X plus 100 and 2 turns out to be on the right hand side if we add these numbers that's going to be 114 let's move this 102 on the other side become x equal to 114 minus 102 means x turns out to be simply 12. So thus the area of the shaded triangle turns out to be 12 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.